Welcome back to the Movie Man. Today I will show you a 2014 American science fiction drama film, Young Ones. Spoilers ahead, watch out, and take care. At the beginning of the movie, Jerome Holm, a teenager, is telling about the drought that has hit various places, including the place where he currently lives. Previously, when he was not born, this place was a fertile area and was planted with plants such as wheat, vegetables and so on. However, since the drought disaster occurred, everyone started to leave that place and look for other places that are more fertile, so they can rely on them to continue their lives. Ernest Holm, Jerome's father, was convinced that one day the land they lived on would become fertile again, and he and his family decided not to leave their village. One day, Ernest accidentally caught two thieves trying to break into his water pump storage area. Apparently the two thieves fought back and shot Ernest back, so a gunfight broke out between them which killed the two thieves. After finishing burying the bodies of the two thieves, Ernest then turned on the water pump but apparently the well had dried up so they didn't get any water. Then Ernest and his son went to the countryside with supplies to be given to government officials where at that time they were carrying out a water canal project. With a little gift to the workers, Ernest hopes that they will bring water to his fields even if it's just a little. Ernest was very confident that the land was still fertile and only needed water to revive it. When they were about to return home, suddenly the donkey carrying the supplies fell and broke its leg. Because there was no other choice, Ernest was finally forced to kill the donkey to end its suffering. Jerome who felt sad because his donkey had been shot dead by his father, then he was comforted and Ernest made sure that they would get a better replacement than before. Despite all that, Jerome realized that his family was just a poor family who lived in a simple house located in the middle of a barren desert. They are also struggling to meet their daily food needs. Meanwhile, Mary, Jerome's older sister, was very disappointed with her father because he never got a job that could make a lot of money. The next day, Ernest and Jerome went to the auction to look for something, maybe they could find something that could still be empowered to help with their work, you could say as a replacement for the donkey that had died. They take part in an auction for a delivery robot which they end up winning from someone named Flem, who is none other than Mary's boyfriend. With borrowed money, Ernest was able to buy the robot and at the same time pay for his wife who is undergoing therapy because she is paralyzed after being involved in an accident. After everything was finished, Ernest returned to his house and stopped at the gas station to buy a few gallons of gasoline as supplies. Maybe because he was thirsty or whatever happened to Ernest, he drank the remaining gasoline. Then Ernest met a young woman holding her baby. She looked thirsty and Ernest immediately gave her water to drink. After they arrived at the house, suddenly Flem came with the intention of borrowing Ernest's transport robot. It seemed that Flem really needed the robot, in fact he was even willing to pay the rent so Ernest was willing to lend the robot. But Ernest ignored him so Flem left disappointed. The next day, as usual, Ernest and Jerome delivered some goods using their new robot. After that they went to check the water in the well. Maybe there was some water flowing, but apparently there wasn't any water left, so Ernest left the well cover open in the hope that it would rain soon. Jerome was very obedient to his father, he was always filial and never contradicted what his father ordered him to do. Ernest then told Jerome that he once met a girl Jerome's age when he went to the border. At first, Jerome was not interested in the story. But in the end he asked further what the girl's face looked like. As they were returning home, they ran into Flem, indicating that he had just met Mary. When he got home, Ernest scolded Mary, because he didn't like Flem's attitude and personality. Hearing that her boyfriend was being verbally abused, Mary became angry and said that she really hated her father. The next day, Ernest and Jerome were surprised by their transport robot which was no longer in its place. Ernest immediately went to Sam's place, but apparently Flem was no longer there. Sam said that Flem had gone in his cart to the mountains. Without wasting any time, Ernest immediately went towards the mountains. But suddenly someone hit Ernest, causing him to faint. When Ernest regained consciousness from fainting, Caleb, one of the workers, accused him of taking some of their alcohol supply. Caleb looked very angry and attacked Ernest, but because Ernest was also an expert in fighting, he managed to stop Caleb and left there while carrying his weapon. 
After Ernest walked far enough, he accidentally saw Flem sleeping with his stolen robot. Ernest then tied Flem up and took him to the worker's place to hand him over Flem, because he was the one who had stolen the drinks. While on the way, Flem said that he was very thirsty and couldn't walk anymore. So Ernest was forced to let him go and they rested there for a while. They then drank the drink to quench their thirst, but Flem seemed to have a plan and he didn't drink the alcohol. Flem then said why he stole the workers' drinking supplies, because the government had taken his father's land by force, and the land was given to Ernest who was a local resident. Not only that, Flem also felt annoyed because Ernest didn't have the ability to manage the land. So the land became a barren land. Like and subscribe may look simple for you. But for us, it's precious. Please like, subscribe, and press the bell icon for the latest notifications. Thank you for being so supportive. When Ernest started to get drunk, Flam threw a stone at him which hit him right in the head, causing him to bleed profusely. After the incident, Flam went to see Mary. He acted as if nothing had happened to Ernest. Suspecting that his father had not come home, Jerome went looking for him until he finally met Caleb who said that Ernest had died because he was dragged by the robot. Everyone said that the incident was an accident, and no one knew that Flam was the mastermind behind Ernest's death. Jerome had time to vent his anger at the robot but after a few days, he finally started to accept reality and started helping Flem in managing his father's land. A few days later, Flem went to the mountain and accused Caleb of killing Ernest. To strengthen his evidence, Flem brought Caleb's knife which Ernest had previously carried when the two of them fought. Flem said that he would not report the incident, on the condition that Caleb would drain the water onto his land. Long story short, Flem finally succeeded in channeling water to the land. As Ernest had previously hoped, with his knowledge of managing land, Flem was able to turn the barren land back to life, until he succeeded in creating a very large wheat field. With his knowledge of managing land, Flem was able to turn the barren land back to life, until he succeeded in creating a very large wheat field. Several months after that, Sam and several other people came to Flem and asked him to turn over the land to the bank to pay off all of Ernest's debts. But Flam didn't want to give up the land and he promised to immediately pay off Ernest's entire debt with his own money. Bringing Ernest's robot, Flam meets Robbie, his friend, who is also Sus's father. Flam said he needed help finding someone who would buy the baby, as Mary was due soon. So in essence, Flam wanted to sell his son so he could pay off all his debts. Long story short, they finally met with a syndicate of teenage baby suppliers. It turned out that Flim lied to Robbie, because he didn't intend to sell his own baby. Instead he wanted to sell Robbie's baby, namely Sus. Realizing this, Robbie became angry with Flim, but without him realizing it, suddenly people from the syndicate shot Robbie, causing Flim to run away and leave the transport robot there. The robot was accidentally hit by gunfire which damaged its system and in the end the robot walked somewhere by itself. The next day, Flem and Mary were very happy because they could pay off Ernest's debt without having to sell the land. While Jerome asked Flem where he had taken the robot, Flem said that he had sold it to Robbie. After several days of walking alone, the robot has now arrived somewhere. It turns out that Calvin, the owner of the place, is the person who created the robot. Calvin tries to contact Ernest's radio. It seems Jerome is the one who answers the call. Calvin says that the robot is currently in his place. Out of curiosity, Jerome finally went to Calvin's place with the excuse that he was going to the hospital to accompany his mother. But because Calvin's location was far outside the border, Jerome couldn't cross the border because he was still under 18 years old. Jerome accidentally met Anna. The girl his late father had told him about. Anna offered to help Jerome cross the border as long as Jerome was willing to pay. Jerome agreed and then they walked until they finally arrived at Calvin's location. When Jerome gave him the agreed money, Anna returned the money and left him. Jerome finally met with Calvin and finally he showed me all the footage attached to the robot. After Jerome saw the entire contents of the tape, Jerome finally realized that in fact all this time the person who had killed his father was Flem. Long story short, 
the rain they had been hoping for finally came down very heavily. Flynn was happy with the rain but she was shocked by the presence of the robot which came at the same time as Jerome. Flam argued that perhaps Robbie had left the robot somewhere so that the robot came back to them. When Flam and Jerome were hunting deer in their field, Jerome suddenly started aiming his gun at Flam, but instead he shot one of the deer, which made Flam a little amazed at him. Then Jerome said that the weapon was broken and he asked Flam permission to repair it. But when he got home, Jerome kept the weapon under his bed. While they are having dinner, Jerome tells Flem that he just got a radio call from Robbie who is looking for Flem. Hearing that, Flem panicked because he thought Robbie was still alive. The next day, while Flem was discussing farming issues with his father, he suddenly received a letter from Robbie asking Flem to meet him in the mountains. Flem then asked Jerome about Ernest's weapon. But Jerome said that the weapon was currently being repaired so Flam took only a knife and went to see Robbie. Arriving in the mountains, Flam tried calling for Robbie, but no one answered the call. Soon Flam fell into a deep hole and broke his leg. He tried to call for help by shouting but no one heard him. A few moments later someone appeared who approached him and it turned out to be Jerome. Flam finally realized that Jerome had been lying all this time because in fact it was Jerome who had brought the robot back, and also wrote a fake letter on behalf of Robbie so that Flynn was lured into his trap. Flynn tried to explain and apologize to Jerome, but because Jerome was already angry, he ignored it and shot Flynn right in the head with the weapon he had stored before. Two days later, Mary was confused because Flam had disappeared without a trace. Jerome still keeps what really happened between him and Flam a secret. Then Jerome deletes all the contents of the recording in the robot's memory, so that no one knows what really happened between him and Flem. Jerome also tries to make peace with the memories of the past and moves forward with his transporter robot. That was all of the video, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.